Hi guys, and so welcome back to my YouTube channel. For all of you guys that don't know me, I'm Mina. Very, very nice to meet you. Thank you for being here. I am a certified life and relationship coach for all of you guys that are new to my channel. So welcome. So today's topic that I wanted to share with you guys is off of yet another email that I received from you guys. Um, so again, thank you so much for getting those emailed to me. And I take the questions that I receive and I make a video with my answer to your question. Now again, I get a lot of emails that have very similar questions. So I will respond to them in one video. And if there's more complicated, more complex questions, obviously I'll answer those in separate videos as well. So again, thank you so much for getting those emailed in. I will, as always, leave the link below to my email address. So feel free to get those sent out to me and I will definitely make a video about it for you guys, okay? So the question that I received that I'm gonna share with you guys and make a video about is from a young lady that reached out and here to check my phone. The question is, my husband allows his friends to disrespect me, including his mother and his siblings. What do I do? So this is obviously a little bit of a more difficult situation because of the fact that you are married to this guy, okay? You've been married to this guy. So to answer your question to the situation itself is, that's not your husband. That is not your husband. He's not meant to be your husband is what I'm trying to say. That's your hater, okay? If that was a guy that was meant to be your husband, he wouldn't even allow that to happen for 30 seconds. It wouldn't even be an option, okay? A husband's job, one of the many jobs that he has, right, is to protect his wife, including his kids, of course. Right now we're talking about the wife. His job is to protect and keep his wife safe, okay? She needs protection. She needs safety and security. So when she doesn't get that, that marriage is not going to work. If she's not feeling safe and secure with the man she married, that marriage will go downhill very quickly. It's not gonna last. It is going to go down. You gotta understand that no husband that knows that's his actual wife, not just by papers or legal papers, legal documents, would allow anybody, including his mother, to say anything negative to his wife, whatever the situation may be. If there's something going on with the marriage, that's between the couple themselves. It's not for anybody else to butt in and give their opinion and tell her how they feel about this, that, him, them, her. It's just not. It's not their job to do. That's not, that's not why they're there. They had their marriage. They had their chance. And if they didn't, it's not okay to butt into somebody else's marriage and state their opinions about how they feel about her, what she's doing about them, whatever the situation may be. This is where he comes in and puts a hard stop, and I mean hard stop, to it and says, no, 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 no. That's not how it works. This is my wife. I'm her husband, okay? You've got your husband. You go handle your business elsewhere and you're gonna stay out of mind and you will not ever disrespect or talk to her the way you just did again, done. And that goes the same for friends, uncles, siblings, whatever the situation may be. Now, yes, are there more complex situations? Like let's say this wife was completely treating her husband like rap or they all knew she was cheating and they were all butting in at the end of the day. Again, we don't know the whole story. I just got a simple question here. At the end of the day, in this video, we're gonna assume that that's not the case because if it was the case, it's treated a little bit different, but at the end of the day, it's still between them. It's still between them. Yeah, more feelings are involved, but it's still between them. We're gonna assume that's not the situation and this is just her kind of getting attacked by them or disrespected by them and him not doing anything about it. That's what we're gonna assume in this video, okay? So we're on the same page because yes, there's different circumstances, there's different situations, there's different storylines, things happen. In marriage, one size does not fit all. 
Okay? It just doesn't. So, again, your husband, if that was your husband, meant to be your husband, would have jumped in. Again, doesn't matter. Mom, dad, if it was his brother, sister, uncle, it does not matter. You do not allow that to happen. You do not allow that to happen because, again, you're her protector. You're the guy that keeps her safe and secure. And in this situation, he's failing at that. So anybody who's anybody could walk in there, call her name, disrespect her, tell her her cooking sucks, tell her that she's not doing enough as a wife, tell her whatever, and you just turn your back and watch TV? No. No. No, a man that's meant to be your husband would not allow that because he knows that is his partner. He knows that's his other half. He knows that that's the person he's going to grow with. He's not going to grow with his mom. He's not going to grow with his friends. He's not going to grow with his uncle that's 30 years older than him. They don't go home with him. They don't sleep in his bed. You're with that woman that they're disrespecting. So your job is to protect her at all costs. There's no questions about that. There is no questions about that. I can't even imagine that happening and a guy not jumping in and saying something about that. Period. I mean, that wouldn't even be appropriate if you are dating a woman and somebody jumps from your family or friends and disrespects her. Let alone when you are actually married to her. I can't even imagine being that woman and just sitting there, taking all this verbal abuse from somebody, not having anybody protect you and defend you, and you just walking out of that feeling terrible about the situation, feeling like a terrible person. And your husband's got his back turned, even though he's in the same room as you and he's watching TV, or he's just sitting there quietly because he's afraid of his mom or that's his mom. Do we really want husbands like that? But again, every situation is different. Sometimes we get with people that are just not meant to be in our lives. That's it. And we marry them. Okay? We marry them. Because we may be at a point in our lives where we might not be thinking clearly. Or we weren't clearly thinking at one point in our lives. So we make these decisions that affect us long term. And think it's okay. Clearly in this situation, this young lady realized that what was going on was not okay because she did reach out about it. At the very most, what you should do in a situation like this is talk to him once. If that, that's already too much work for you. One time and let him know that what's happening is not okay and it needs to stop and what your expectations of him are going forward. Now, if that does not stop and he continues on or he blows you off or he just ignores you, you leave, period. Let them all sit together and live together and talk crap all they want. He doesn't deserve to be with you. He maybe deserves to be with his mom, with his siblings that are disrespecting you, his friends. Let them all live together and talk all they want. That's not your job to fix you leave. That's not your husband. If he doesn't realize what he's doing, at the very most, have that one conversation with him. And to be honest with you, I don't know if I would do that myself because it's common sense, but that's just me. I'm that type of person. I'm not saying that people shouldn't give second chances, but if you decide to do it, given that it's happened multiple times, if you decide to do it, one conversation is all I'm recommending. One conversation and that's it. And from that point on, if you don't see a change within the month that's consistent, you leave. Done. Because you're wasting your time. It's, it's just not okay for somebody to come into your life and that's supposed to be your husband when he leaves you feeling like crap every time you're around his family. You're just going to wait to see if are they going to disrespect me this time? Are they going to say anything? And then you just sit there and you take it or you have to fight for yourself. That's not how it works. That's not how marriage is supposed to work. It just doesn't. I said, I don't even imagine having to deal with that in a relationship. 
in a relationship, let alone a marriage. Those are that's just not something I'd sign up for. It's not something any woman, anybody, period, should go through in a relationship or a marriage. So have that conversation at the very, very most. That's already a lot from your end because, in my opinion, he's the one that should be making the moves. But clearly, he's not understanding something. So have that one conversation. And after that, the ball is in his court. If he's not doing anything with it, you walk. That's it. Eventually, you'll find a guy that will go through any battle for you. It will battle anybody. doesn't matter who it is. That disrespects you or tries to disrespect you because that's what husbands do. Okay? Actually, now I think about it, I may probably share a personal story with you guys uh, in a situation that's kind of similar to this, but it was when I was actually dating somebody and got disrespected by one of his friends. So I'll actually share that with you guys sometime maybe this week or next week. Um, and yeah, guys, I hope you like this video, ladies. Let me know what you think. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel so I can be making more of these videos for you guys. Let me know down below in the comments, have you been through something like this and what did you do? How did you handle it? You know, how did you respond? What did your husband or your boyfriend, fiance, whatever, do? And how did you respond to it? Again, if you guys feel comfortable, share it down below. And yeah, guys, I will see you guys in my next video, okay? Take care.